Hello, folks. I'm going to sit down here so we can chat. Ah, anyway, I've been sitting here watching different videos and trying to figure out, well, I'm trying to build my channel up as long as everybody else on YouTube. And I've built it up uh, to a thousand something subscribers, which for me is pretty darn good. But I'm wondering, what would it take to reach that hundred thousand? Because one channel I was watching that I normally watch, he does a lot of shooting videos. That's Hootie Who. Check his channel out. That's Who D Who. <laughs> Just like you were hollering it. Um, but some of my subscribers are also trying to build their channels up. So if you see my subscribers in the comment section, check them out and subscribe to them. Some of them have got some real good channels. Some of them don't have any videos yet, but I'm sure they're working on getting a few up and running. I subscribed to them because they were decent enough to make a real good comment, observation, helpful advice, and I try to do the same thing. And I was thinking, we've got plenty of bare walls around here yet. If I did reach the 100,000, where would I put the silver play button? Have any of you ever thought of that? Where would you put yours? Because we've got this room here that we do some videos in. We also have the room we have the computer in which you've seen that has the cross in the background? Or would I display it in the front room? Or in the hallway where you've seen all of our certificates? I don't know where I'd display it. But right now, I'll tell you this. I'm proud of each and every subscriber I have. Each and every one of you are trying to build your channels. Keep it up. I'm going to cheer you on. And in fact, <clears throat> if everybody that was subscribed to me, subscribed to, the, to one of the subscribers, that would build their channels up. Doggone fly. I think the fly is wanting to subscribe. But uh, I try to add humor to these videos. I try to add, add information. And, and uh, when I do my sermons, I try to let you know out of the Bible. Not just my standpoint, but as it's written in the Bible. And tomorrow I'm going to do a sermon. I didn't do one last Sunday because I got a criticism and I was trying to figure a polite way to answer back. I never did. So I'm just going to go straight forward. I'm going to do a sermon straightforward. I'm not going to let that person's negativity destroy my little ministry on YouTube. For those that want to sit down and watch it, you're more than welcome to. I appreciate the company. But I will tell you, 
I'm not only working to get this channel to where I can get it monetized. So whenever I purchase something, um, it's not draining my budget that much. I don't know. I don't even know what uh, a person gets for being monetized. Really? It's not that important. The important part is I want to keep you, the subscriber, and the ones that watch interested in what's going on and help you build your channels. Maybe even give you an idea or two. Mm, pardon me. Well, like I keep saying, thank you for watching. You didn't have to, but I thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about this page. Even if you're talking to them one-on-one. -on -one. Because hobbies can consist of a lot of things. Talking to you on YouTube. The hobby of having a coffee cup. The hobby of reading. That's a good hobby. Because you educate yourself. The hobby of model railroading. The hobby of cleaning firearms. The hobby of keeping them working. And the enjoyment of interacting with all of you. So that's part of my hobby. My hobby of gardening and railroading combined. I thank you because without you, this channel would not be where it's at. Thank you again and like, share, and subscribe, please. You have a good evening now. Bye-bye.